Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're on page 291 of your student journal, page 291. And our objective today is, today I will determine whether equations involving addition and subtraction are true or false. So today we're not doing anything new, boys and girls. We're just going to practice what we had started yesterday, okay? So our vocabulary is the same and our steps are the same. So again, boys and girls, we're not doing anything new today. We're just going to practice more. Okay, so Ms. Munoz is going to get started on her problems. And what you'll see today is now they have three different equations that they want me to check, but I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So my question says to me, says, circle the equation that is false. Okay, so they want me to find the equation that is false. Okay, so I have to solve both sides of my equation. So if I have eight and I take away four, I could count on, I could count backwards. I, I could also draw if I needed to, if I wasn't sure I could draw eight and say I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I take away four, how many are left? And I get four. So boys and girls, there's lots of strategies you could be using to do your adding and subtracting. And four plus zero, when I add zero to something, I don't change it, so it just stays four. So my equation says four equals four. Okay, let's try this next one. Ooh, 10 plus seven. Well, I know 10 plus seven is 17. And then eight plus nine, I think I'm going to use my count on strategy. I'm gonna put nine in my hand and add eight. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I added eight and I got 17. So this says 17 equals 17. That's true. Okay, but we're looking for one that says false. So let's try this one. Six take away five. Well, if I take away five, I only have one left. And 10 take away six. Well, I know four and six make 10, so it must be four. So this says one equals four. That's not true, boys and girls. That's a false statement, so I'm going to circle that one. Okay, let's look at my next problem. This time it says, circle the equation that is true. Circle the equation that is true. Okay, ready? So I'm going to add this five plus four. Well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is 19 take away 10. Well, if I take 10, I, we've learned this 10 less than 19 is just nine. So I think that's my answer, boys and girls, because I'm looking for a true statement and nine equals nine. Let's make sure the others don't work then. So nine take away six. Hmm, well, what's the difference between six and nine? Well, I know that six plus three equals nine, so the difference must be three. Okay, six take away four would be two. Does three equal two? No, this is a false statement. Okay, let's check this one. Okay, 13 take away four. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use my counting on strategy. I'm gonna see how, how many it takes to get to 13. So if I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It took nine to get there. So the difference is nine. And then 12 take away two, if I take away the two ones, I'm just gonna be left with 10. So nine equals 10, that's not true. So the only true statement was right there. Okay, boys and girls, let's do some of these together. We are on page 292. We are on page 292, and here's our first problem. Okay, and our first problem says, Circle the equation that is true. Okay, we're looking for an equation that is true. 
Okay, so boys and girls, let's check this. Ready? Five plus eight. I would probably count, start with eight and add five. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 13 take away three, well, 10, 10 plus three equals 13, so if I take away the three ones, I'm just gonna be left with 10. So my answer says 13 equals 10. That's not true, boys and girls, that's false. So that's not our answer. So let's keep going. Okay, this one says three plus five. So I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight. And what about 11 take away two or subtract two? Hmm. Well, if I subtract 11 take away one is 10. And if I take away one more, I would get nine. So eight equals nine, that's not true. Okay, let's check this one. Okay, 14 take away five. Hmm, for this one, maybe I'll use my counting on strategy. I'm gonna start with five and see how long it takes to get to 14. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it took nine. Okay, what about here? 10 take away one? Well, one less than 10 is nine. So we have nine equals nine. We found our answer, boys and girls, because we wanted the true statement, and that's true. Okay, let's look at our next one. This one says, circle the equation that is false. Circle the equation that is false. Okay, so let's come over here. 12 take away seven. What strategy would you use for that? I think I'm gonna still use my count on, or I could use my fact family and think about seven plus what gives me 12. Seven plus what gives me 12. We could see. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 7 plus 5 equals 12. And then what about 14 take away 9? What strategy could you use for that? You could still use the count on. So we could start with 9 and say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It took us 5 to get to 14. So we have 5 equals 5. That's a true statement, boys and girls, but we're looking for a false statement. Let's try this one. Eight subtract four. Well, I know eight subtract four is four because I know four plus four equals eight. And what about two plus three? Mm, I already know that one's five. So four equals five. No, that's false, that's not true. So I think this is our answer because we want a false one. Let's check this one and make sure. So 15 take away eight. So we could count up, we could, I'm gonna say eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it took seven to get to 15. And then three plus four, I already know that, is seven. So this one, seven equals seven, that's true but they want a false one, so here was our false one, boys and girls. Okay, so when you're doing these, remember there's lots of strategies for you to do your adding and subtracting. So try to use a strategy that you're the best at. Okay, have a great day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.